Hi, I'm Wes with Noria Corporation. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. I'm here to talk to you about a topic that I see problems with everywhere I go, and that is short desiccant breather life. Now, desiccant breathers can be attached to any reservoir, a drum of oil, any piece of equipment that needs clean, dry air going into it during that breathing process. So basically, as the machine has to breathe in, the air goes through the desiccant breather, which in turn dries it, strips it of moisture, and then we'll also clean some of the particles out of that air as well. So the air going in is now cleaner and drier. Now in humid environments or wet environments, these breathers may not last very long. So some simple things that you can do to make these breathers last longer is increase the distance from the bottom of the breather to the top of the reservoir. Instead of simply threading the breather to the reservoir, we are now adding a length of pipe in between there. This will help that breather as far as life, and if there is any oil misting inside that reservoir, it will keep that oil mist from coming into the breather, thus rendering that breather useless. Another thing you can do is find a breather with check valves or a bladder system that reduces the amount of air that actually that desiccant sees. So with the check valves or bladders, only the air that has to be breathed in is now dried. So that will increase the service life of that breather. For more information on desiccant breathers or how they work, we have hundreds of articles and videos on machinerylubrication.com. It's a free publication. If you haven't signed up for it, you should do so. Once again, machinerylubrication.com.